Alright guys, welcome back to the channel once again and today we're gonna be talking about the crepe chairs. Okay, so into this video, we're gonna be looking at the plugin side like uh, in the last few videos, I haven't told you about how we can inject the plugins into the crepe chairs configuration. So earlier we were writing all the block manager, block categories and all the things into the crepe chairs configuration directly. But uh, now we're gonna be moving those things into the plugin. So this is gonna be a brief introduction about the plugins part. I'm not gonna write any code into this video, but into the next video, I'm gonna be writing the code and i'm gonna show you everything step by step like how you we can create the plugins and how we can modify everything but into this video i'm gonna give you the whole introduction that you will be able to write the code by yourself as well okay so this is the dashboard of grape.js documentation and let's go into the docs first and i'll show you also the code into the code like how i have written earlier for my projects and also that i'll show you let's go into the plugins part so if you see over here, so this is the documentation of plugins into the grape chairs and you see the basic plugin name plugin. So there are separate uh, different different type of plugins defined over here so that you can use and you see this is the code written over here for the plugin. So you don't need to write the code into the same repository. You can write this code into the different file or repository somewhere. Okay, you can create a react repository for that or JavaScript boilerplate and then you can write the plugin code over there and then you can do the configuration like webpack configuration or any kind of uh, uh, builder that make your application build and then you just need to include that minified build file into your grape.js configuration and that it's gonna be loaded so you see this is the configuration part so you see this is the function written for the plugin and this plugin is getting included over here okay and that's how and it's gonna be loaded all the features with which you which you have written inside this plugin okay so as long as you will study this one and read about this plugin part and you will look at it so you will get to understand like how this plugin work and what to, to assign inside of this so mostly like you just need to write this code by yourself like uh, only this one over here only this part and after that you just need to assign one plugin name over there so the plugin name could be this one or uh, okay and just you need to include that function over here and it's going to be automatically taking that plugin name from here and it will uh, allow your plugins features into the grape.js builder side okay so let's go down and i'll show you one more example uh, so there's no much example given over here but if you see these two urls over here uh, so this is the grape.js uh, preset web page and newsletter so these are the two plugins but apart from these two there are so many plugins uh, also into the grape.js that i don't know you guys know this into the github so grape.js okay over here and if we see to this documentation so just go to the down below section over here so you see all the extensions are loaded over here so these are the plugins which comes with the grape chairs and there are several kind of featured plugin like okay you have the grape chairs plugin export like in into this one you can export the code from the grape chairs okay and this is the file stack into the asset manager so this could be something i haven't used it yet but yeah this could be something ck editor you can inject the ck editor into your grape chairs let's suppose you are typing some uh, editing some text over there so you will get the uh, option into the right side uh, like into your style manager as well as you will get kind of ck editor which comes like once you click on the text so you will get some options down below of that text so you can just uh, change the style of that like bold italic uh, and uh, like font size and font family those kind of things you can edit so that comes with ck editor okay so this is tui image editor into this one you can edit the image like let's suppose you have uh, image and you want to apply some filters change the contrast and all the things uh, brightness and all the things of the image so you can do it via this uh, uh, plugin okay so into this plugin when you open uh, when you click on any image and you oh, it will automatically open this plugin uh, modal and into that one your image gonna be loaded and you just need to edit that image and save it it will apply all the filters and all the things into your image okay so that gonna be come into the mode of css because it changed the css for that image and it will show you and it the css is gonna be added into your like uh, html uh, into your grape.js editor so once you export like uh, export the code from there like html and css part so that css is gonna be included over there 
ओके सो इफ यू डोंट अंडरस्टैंड दिस का दिस सीन आई इज बिकॉज आई एम स्पीकिंग वेरी क्विकली इन टू दिस वन बट इफ यू डोंट गेट एनी थिंग सो यू कैन जस्ट कॉम एंड डाउन बिलो एंड आई आई लेट यू नो हाउ द थिंग्स वर्क बट इन टू द नेक्स्ट वीडियो आई विल शो यू ईच एंड एवरी थिंग एज इट इज लाइक हाउ दिस प्लग इन्स वर्क एंड हाउ वी कैन इंजेक्ट इट एंड ऑल्सो इफ यू वॉन्ट टू मेक सम चेंजेस इन टू दिस प्लग इन सो यू कैन डू इट सो सो इफ यू क्लिक ऑन इट सो इट गोन बी ओपनिंग द न्यू अन अदर रिपोजिट्री फॉर यू सो करेंटली आई थिंक आई एम नॉट लॉन्ड इन सो दैट्स वाई आई एम नॉट एबल टू सी दोज बट या इट विल ओपन द न्यू रिपोजिट्री फॉर यू एंड दैट यू रिपोजिट्री यू हैव टू इंस्टॉल इन टू योर बैक लाइक कोड and then if you want to make some editing into that uh, plugin so you can do it as per your own choice and you can then modify the build and include that build file into your code okay so these are the plugins over here and those preset plugin over here so newsletter is mostly used for the email builders like let's suppose you have to create one email uh, builder where you just want to create the email templates and edit those and export the code for that so that's why that's that's where the newsletter comes into the picture same for the preset web page as well okay and this is the new thing introduced right now so i haven't looked into yet so we will discuss it later okay so let's go into the code side or i'll tell you so this you can see this one this part so this is the grapejs block bootstrap plugin so that is also come default with the grapejs now it has been removed from here but earlier it was coming so this css was written into the bootstrap and it was giving you some kind of uh, pre-built component like uh, header and a uh, header so you see over here there are so many components like button badges header button group so these are the type of the component let's suppose you injected any button into your grip.js editor and okay and if you want to do some changes as styling and all the things so they, there were some traits defined over there for that button type okay so those traits were coming from here okay so if i open this one button so you see i have defined some traits over here okay so you see class select class select and uh, so you can also make the changes on this uh, um defined traits as well like if you want to run some script into this like let's suppose someone change into that trait and you want to run some event over there so you can run those event as well or like at the later at the end of this script so you can write some like uh, uh, on change event or something like that so you can Uh, like capture those events and you can write the configuration on the basis of that okay so you see some events are coming over here so same kind of thing you can also write the script tag inside this configuration so this is a configuration for defining a type of the element so this is the button type element same for the other types as well like you see the card type over here if i uh, make any element over there like card type so i will get these traits related to that element okay so this is the same i have defined for the this form element header element so each and every element have their defined traits over here so that not come default by the grapejs because grapejs will only provide you the id and title attribute okay apart from that you have to make custom type of the elements and then you need to define the trait for that like let what attributes you want to add into that html element when you are um, form or your when your landing page will go into the preview mode okay so those html attributes should be into your html code and then it will be working over there okay so like uh, attributes means like id titles and uh, method okay and uh, source url action method so those kind of things calls the trait into this one okay so you can add some custom attributes as well over here into this traits method you just need to define it and also on change of that trait uh, sorry traits you can capture the events over here so you see this dot list into so i'm capturing the change attributes form state so i have defined one form state over here and once someone will change the uh, states over here so it's going to be captured into this function so this function going to be captured and after that it will run some functions over here and it will modify it accordingly so these code was written so same kind of things for the header icon so there are so many components over here that you can use and the, you can write it and you can define the type of this okay and apart from this one you can write some uh, template component as well like you have some blocks and block manager so blocks like you have some html component okay so you want to create one plugin for that so into that like your block one block two block three gonna be assigned and those once you inject that plugin into your grapejs configuration so those blocks wanna be loaded into your block manager okay so 
that is the also thing you can do so this is the kind of same thing so if i take you into this part component over here component part so you see this uh, like this one you can inject your block so that you see block and document object model is coming from here okay so this is block is getting added over here so that block is like whatever you see into the left side and you would once you will drag it so the same kind of style gonna be rendering over here okay so that is called block so you can inject the block like this and this block html code is written over here so let's suppose this is the header block okay so if you go into this header.js so you see this kind of html code is written over here so that code gonna be dragged from the right side like left or right where the, your block manager code exists so from into the builder so that you can drag it and drop it so same kind of ui design gonna be coming into this uh, your uh, grape.js editor okay that's it okay and now so this is the component you can see over here so i have commented commented all these things so currently it's not working but yeah if i inject this plugin into my grape.js config config so it gonna be working and you see this is the kind of different repo over here okay and inside this one you see the disk folder is there and also this source folder is there so inside this source i have written also this backpack config.js so it, this configuration gonna be creating a minified build of this plugin and this this only this part i have to include it so how i have to include it? i just need to import this part into my configuration so if i take you into this configuration part over here over here so i have imported this one and just i have to include the name of that plugin over here into these plugins okay so if you take you down below plugin, sorry, controller Plugins. plugins okay so you see this i have commented it so you can just copy this name from here you make sure you have to import this one as well over here if you won't import it so it's gonna what won't gonna be working so you see this code editor from this export code so this this is how you have to import it and this name this code editor name you have to include it over here okay and it's gonna working so you see i have input included it over here okay so that's how it works and you can pass some custom attributes into that one let's suppose you want to pass something into the plugin code like variables or something so you can pass it into this like this one plugins options okay and that options gonna be coming into this one over here okay options gonna be coming over here so by default it's gonna be assigned empty object otherwise you can assign something else into this one and you can read all this and so this is the configuration you have to write so you see i have write the default blocks which blocks i have to write and then default labels and uh, these labels gonna be loaded into your the block manager side and these are the default categories in which category you have to define all of these things so this category gonna be defined and this is your main configuration where your whole block manager gonna be loaded okay so how it has to differentiate so these things this thing gonna be working and, and this is where you load your components okay so you need to pass the options over here and editor instance over here so this is gonna be taking and it will go into this load components and over here it will check like in which category which component need to be added so there you have to add it accordingly okay so this is a kind of thing like this is how the grape.js work internally so if you have seen the grape.js ui like default builder comes so this is what is written into the bucket of the grape.js and that's how it works in the next video what i will do i will just create this kind of scenario for you guys and i'll show you how these things work into the grape.js so step by step i will show you so this might be this time this tutorial is gonna be a little bit longer because this is the plug, plug inside so there are gonna be so many uh, things that need to be included so i'm not gonna making each and every video like for the 20 minutes because people don't watch till the end so that's why i'll make the only 10 minutes or 12 minutes video so whatever we can cover into those videos so 
uh, we will look into it and then after that it gonna be the the video gonna be coming uh, one by one so we will learn step by step and then we will understand all those things okay so i will create the new playlist for this one grape.js plugins and into that one i'm gonna be adding the new videos related to the grape.js and where you will see all these things okay so thank you so much guys thank you for watching and i'll meet you in the next video